All right, R2-D2 has got a center vent. Turned out okay. Could always be better with more time. Getting the areas way in the back there, not to show print lines, I decided was going to be too much of a pain in the neck. And you probably can't even see it on the camera, or maybe just barely. But since most people are at least this high, they won't even see in there unless they're really looking. Um, I've got the speakers mounted behind it, so you can maybe see some speaker grill and maybe the chrome... Uh, I guess it's a speaker cone for the tweeter part of the speaker, but I think that looks fine. And I'm going to turn it on and hope that we get sound. All right, stuck my head there, and you can hear that we are getting we're getting sound from both speakers. This is the first time this thing's been turned on in probably a year. Uh, it's dusty um, inside. <laughs> because I've had that dome on that has open sections and dust has gotten in into the electronics, which I didn't even think about when it's sitting here. So um, there's the electronics. And excuse the camera angle and lack of light. There are the same speakers that Jason Charlton uses, using his same three and a half inch speaker adapters. I've also got the holes drilled, um, one hole here and one hole here for his brackets that go over here and hold the center vent in place instead of the stock setup. The setup allows you to still remove the entire center section as opposed to Michael Badley's design that uses a piece that goes across the top here that you're supposed to glue in place which will glue this in plus a pin on the bottom that holds it in on the bottom. Uh, Jason's, Jason's brackets uh, go here and with a screw hold it in place but still make it removable. Um, Fairly deep speakers, but still plenty of room. I just used the speaker wire that came with the speakers. Um, and again, sorry for camera movements here. They plug in up here. I've just got the positives tied together and the negatives tied together from each of the two speakers. And um, down in the bottom, you can see a to the left of the battery, a big loop of wires. I haven't cut these to size. Um, I wanted to make sure that I had my test of them working. And also, I'm not sure how I'm going to route them. So I'm not exactly sure how long to make them. Um, I'd like to go along this side of the body and then over to the plug similar to this this is the foot motor cables that come up through the leg and this one goes in there and there's another one on the other side i still have plenty of this um i'm not sure if it's petg or nylon but this wire wrap that i can wrap these wires and send them across this way but because i haven't printed anything um, for the utility arms at all, or the tool arms, I guess. 
haven't printed anything that connects up to here. I'm not sure where to run it, where the where I'm going to have space issues. So for now, I'll just leave it extra long. Um, but yeah, the main point was to test it and make sure it works. And it is working. And it now looks so much more like a proper droid without that giant rectangular hole. I am currently working on the uh, coin return bits. I'm working on the doors, bread pan doors. I'm working on the side vents. Um, all at the same time. And the bread pan doors that I printed, uh, I don't have that printer anymore. I printed them in one piece diagonally on a printer that can print uh, 300 millimeter by 300 millimeter. So if you take the bread pan doors and do them diagonally, they work. But I don't have that printer anymore. And I noticed when I was test fitting the doors that they have a little bit of a bow that's not that big of a deal, but I thought I'd try and fix it. So I took one of these doors out into the garage and I used a heat gun and I heated it a little bit too much. Um, I brought it back in and it's warped now in this direction. So it was warped this way. Now it's also warped this way. So um, I basically right now I just started printing one of these over, um, cut it in half in Prusa Slicer, now has a cutting tool in it. So cut, just cut it in half and made a top and a bottom half. I'll glue and plastic uh, weld the two halves together and see how that fits. And I might do the other door that I didn't melt that still has that little bit of a bow to it. Because I'm thinking the ones that come off the Prusa printer, since I'm only, I split it in half, I don't think they'll have a bow in them like the other one did. Just, I think because of its length and the way you print them at kind of an angle on the bed. So we'll see, but I have so many other parts I'm working on. It's like, okay, that's fine. I, I still have painting and sanding enough on so many more parts that those could be put off for a while. Although it is a bit annoying that I spent the time getting them almost ready for paint and then just tried to make that adjustment and realized that I had warped one of them. So there we go. Um, nice short video with audio. Yep.